everyone i am aditi currently i am in my third year and i applied for microsoft engage 2020 22 in uh, my second year this is a program introduced by microsoft in which it provides an opportunity to second year students to get mentored by microsoft mentors for a period of month now how i applied to this what were the eligibility criteria what were the rounds let's discuss this so i came to know about this program through one of my classmates i applied to it uh, the eligibility criteria for the program was that a student must be present in second year of his bachelor's degree uh, he should not have any backlogs also the cgpa must be above 7 must know some basic data uh, uh, must know some basic computer fundamentals like data structures algorithms and all that so the first round was a resume uploading round uh, in that i uploaded my resume my resume basically consisted of all the projects that i have done uh, till the, till the date and some of my certifications and all the areas that i am proficient in after that after, on the basis of resume selection i got the shortlist mail so that mail was for round 1 uh, in round 1 there were 10 questions which has to be answered in 30 minutes they were basically mcq questions based on basic dsa knowledge like uh, trees queues stacks tree traversals and all that things were there uh, they were quite easy not so tough but still they were answerable uh, a, a, a notice to be mentioned was that uh, you don't have to switch your screens because the screen monitoring was done uh, do not shuffle your tabs and all so this thing was uh, taken care of i submitted the test in almost 14 to 15 minutes after that after one or two days i received a second mail which was that uh, say, stating that i got shortlisted and there will be another round 2 round 2 was uh, a subjective round uh, it contained one question which has to be answered in 30 minutes since it was subjective so we have to clearly tell that what was the approach that we applied to the question what was the time complexity space complexity if needed in that question was to be written so the question that i got in that round was that you are having a 100 inches long uh, 100 inches long wood, wooden plank which you have to cut in 100 equal parts so what will be the minimum number of cuts that you have to do to provide 100 equal parts so the approach i gave to them was that um, first we will make a cut at 64 inches so we will get two pieces that is 64 and 36 right so we'll place both of them on top of each other aligned to the left so 30, uh, 36 and 64 then uh, we'll make another cut at 32 inches and again uh, what will be the parts what all the parts will get will uh, stack upon each other uh, aligned towards the left again we will make a cut at 8 and similarly align again at 4 then at 2 then at 1 uh, when we reach 1 we'll see we get 100 equal parts of the plank so the minimum number of cuts required was 7 so i provided the entire detailed solution to them after that i got another shortlist mail which states uh, which stated that i got selected as a mentee for microsoft program so the program since the program was of one month uh this program included that we have to make a uh, project under the menti uh like three options were given to us to the for the project so we have to choose any one of them so coming towards the project and the mentorship work was that after each week you have to uh, tell the progress of your app uh, to tell the progress of your project to the mentor you can ask any question any doubt to them regarding your project whatever issue you are facing the mentors were very friendly they uh, resolved the issues whatever we faced during making the project uh, also there were two types of meetings every week one was the doubt session that was held by one of the uh, one of the mentor who handled this entire engage program and another meet was with the mentor in which you can discuss the details of your project uh, also you can ask your uh, doubts through the microsoft teams chat box also any time you can ask them the project uh, doubts that you have so on these regular basis we had some another meets in which we were told how to uh, write a good algorithm we were taught about merge sorting quick sorting and various other algorithms how to 
judging algorithm what it is how to write the good code for that so the basic things that we were told about writing a good code was that first of all we need to learn how to comment out our code right uh, it is very important as a developer that you learn to comment out your code i know it might be a hassle that commenting out so much will make your workload even more but still it will be very easy for anybody else to read your code so nicely so this practice is must for is to be must followed another thing we were taught was that we should follow the dry principle dry principle is like uh, do not repeat yourself right you don't have to write your code same code again and again uh, the same piece of code should be written only once or grouped together you don't have to repeat that entire code it will look very lengthy also uh, try to remain consistent with your code your code should be your code should have good, uh, proper identification even if it even if the compiler does not have identification issues but still you should identify it very nicely um also that um, the code should be your entire project should be kept in uh, good folders right uh, this is the this is the entire folder project in that you have made home app bar or any other thing like page 1 page 2 page 3 in page 1 you have added suppose icon 1 icon 2 icon 3 so all that should be managed very well it should not be that you are having one single folder in that you have added everything so make sure that you are adding good folders to your project this will make your project look very good uh, okay another thing was that you should limit the line length of your code do not write long lines of your code basically also that you should uh, give good naming to your variables like do not just simply name it x y z p q r whatever right if you are suppose using two pointers one is pointing the current and another is pointing a previous node for example so make sure you are naming it properly current previous next last first whatever you are pointing on uh this way you yourself won't get confused and your project is very readable to the mentor as well also uh the project which we were given uh, was Uh, judged on some few things one was that uh, how much accessible that is like is it working on all the sites on all the platforms that the uh, that the world uses uh, also it should be uh, properly actionable like uh, you should uh, it should not be like uh, you are some icon is provided some button is provided for example we are not we are clicking it but it is not going somewhere so it should be properly actionable um, also it should have proper navigation throughout like um, suppose for example from the login page to the end of the uh, project it should have a proper navigation a proper flow chart should be made this all were the things this all were the criteria that our project was uh, judged upon also along with the project we have to submit a video demo uh, which should not exceed a length of 4 minutes uh, to be submitted uh, in which you will entirely describe what what exactly have you made the project upon uh, first of all you should introduce yourself to the mentors about yourself then about your the title of your project that you have chosen and what you have chosen what you chose to be made the entire uh, website or app description you have to give in the video demo so there uh, is that make sure that in your in your video demo you should catch the attention of your mentor right uh they you must include some wow factor in your project the wow factor could be anything uh, suppose a creative idea uh some ui design you are using using some good ui designs you are using something extra creative you have made that was not maybe a uh, thought some somebody else would have not thought about that so these were basic things that you really need to keep in mind while you are making making a project so coming to the project uh, project ideas that we were given we were given three options to choose from one was the data analytics that was that we have to make a project on how automotive industries harness data uh, how how they harness data to make a good use of them like you can choose any pre built data or use some open source for that right second project it could be a web application or an app uh, app anything uh, you can make the second project idea was face recognition right uh, it was a simple project like how a face is recognized by the uh, recognized 
uh, it could use any system like for the attendance system it could be used it could be used to find missing pets or missing people any any activity you can describe which includes face recognition third was uh, algorithms in this you have to use such algorithms that uh, there's netflix and online online streaming platforms are using for the recommendation engine uh, you have to tell how they are recommending suppose i watched some funny movies today on netflix so next day i get some suggestions right some recommendations to watch that because you watched uh, xyz movie so some suggestions are there you have to make some app or website on that that gives such suggestions to you recommendation engine in a short way so the project that we were given was uh, judged on some criteria that was the execution time uh, the memory it used and the cpu utilization it had also the http error rate all these things were counted properly while judging the app so yeah these were the basic things about the project that we were told so now we are coming to the interview part after submitting your project uh, to the on the given link you have to wait for some days like after that uh, uh, after that uh, the microsoft sent three types of mails one was the rejection mail another was the interview mail and third was direct internship which was a huge thing right uh, you can get directly into you can get direct internship into microsoft through your project this is a very good opportunity uh, second thing is that they will send you an interview mail uh, which will be held within a few days so that uh, you can prepare for your interview give the interview if your interview goes well you can be se- still be selected for the internship so we were told how to prepare for interviews there are two things that you need to take care of one is prior to the interview and one is during the interview so prior to the interview what you have to do is make sure that you are refurbishing all your concepts on your data structures oops good cs fundamentals dbms os coe all these things should be well taken care of right also make sure that you go with the mind that uh, uh, interviews are not uh, they, they they will not be harsh on you right they are discussion sessions like whatever you know they will not test your memory they will test what you have learned nothing like they will be hardly anything like cramming uh, make sure that you have good dsa knowledge prepare well be consistent with your dsa be confident while giving them the approach to the question they have asked right how can you be confident only if you are consistent from your previous work like whatever you have done so in this way make sure you are ready prior to the interview very well uh, make sure that you do the linkedin search about the uh, if if they provide who is going to take your interview make sure that you are uh, searching their linkedin profile once uh, who are they right what task do they have if they have mentioned something on linkedin right another thing is that do some ground work about the company in whatever company's interview or uh, interview you are going to give uh, do some ground work about the company what are they what are they exactly working on uh, how do they work what is the culture of the work they are performing there all that things basic knowledge you must take um so keep calm before the interview now during the interview what you have to do is uh, make sure you are calm right once the interview begins don't think about anything else just focus on what you are speaking what are they asking be very calm uh, give them the good approach like whatever question you have uh, they have asked asked you try to give them first the brute force approach that is the o of n square approach that we say then try to optimize the solution or however changes whatever whatever they are asked um, or, um also tend to write a clean code as i have mentioned earlier writing a clean code is very important during interviews start practicing all these things way before your interview comes also microsoft engage was overall a very good experience to me i got to learn really new things that how to make a project how are we going to come to the interview things and all that so of course it was a great interview uh, it was a great session with microsoft i thank microsoft for providing me this opportunity um, as well as i wish good luck to all the second year students who will be 
coming towards this their second year now make sure you are very well prepared for this and hope you utilize this opportunity very well thank you